Welcome to Gate Crash. We're doing a uh, sealed of a pre release, I guess. Or maybe it's a release, I don't remember. But you choose your guild. So I chose Boros because it's the best one to pick. And this is the deck I ended up with. Um, the, the recording, as you will see, um, there were technical difficulties, we'll call it that, yes. <laughs> so, uh, this is what I ended up with. Mugging, Shield Passage, uh, some Bomber Corps, an Arrow Maneuver, Paladin, a Guild Mage, awesome cards, uh, a Goblin, so a bunch of two drops, basically. Max Treason, Wretched Tards, and three Legionnaires. This card's the nuts. He's the bee's knees. He's the real deal. Infantry is pretty good. Score walker, Scorch Walker is good. Fireman Angel is good. Salt Griffin's fine. Just playing a gargoyle because I needed another card actually. Uh, so yeah, that's what I played with. This is what I'm not playing. There's some other poop that I didn't get in here as well. So sorry. Not playing Smite main deck. Lab players are main decking that in Furious Resistance when you're Boros. Let me tell you something about Boros. I've been playing Boros for a while. Ever since the first um, Ravnica block. I played Boros a lot there. Boros likes to attack. Blocking? It's not doing much of that. So this is definitely on the draw, if at all. A big pie pie or five mana drop. Not what I'm looking for. You know? So, my gruel, kind of good, but didn't play it. I mean, look, look that's not good. Um, look at these cards. So, if you went gruel, you know, with this sealed, I would not, I would not fault you for thinking that gruel was the right play. Maybe it is. Maybe after playing with this for enough time, I'll see that gruel is actually the correct one because I'm just so next level by then. But I don't think so. Mm -mm. I got Boundary Champion. I got a uh, Iron Man Avenger. And I got three Legionnaires. So, two Guild Gates. Uh, eight mountains, seven plains. Uh, not whole much else to talk about. But welcome uh, back, and I will see you in the next round. Yeah, I don't like this hand at all. Like, yeah, nothing you can play, and there are so many two drops in the deck, like. I don't know. The sand is just as good. I can't see it. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what are the odds of you drawing a creature in the first two turns? Mm. Pretty decent, I guess. I don't know. This, I don't know, it's, it's a tough call. Like, this is a hand I would probably keep personally. It doesn't do anything. It's just like the last hand. No, the last hand had... Like, there were so many draws that you couldn't play. This, if you already have four lands, like, everything you, you draw is live. That's the reason I'd keep this and not the other hand. All right. Before, like, if you didn't draw white, like, you're just fucked. Like, you had nothing going on. Here, like, your mana base is good for the whole game right now. See, it's already so much better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is why. Like, the odds of you drawing a creature. He didn't have a two-drop, which is even better for you. Getting in there for two. <laughs> Looks like he kept his... his he uh, kept his no-white hand. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting fucked. Dead? Nope. 
Honey, if he wants to burn removal on it, that's fine. <laughs> as long as we get to slam a, a champion. Well, sure. That's, <laughs> that's pretty good, too. Yep, yep, yep. Mm, go ahead and play that. Yep, seems good. I mean, kind of awkward that you can't do battalion with it. Yeah, whatever. Because I played that guy, and I I activated him a couple times. Oh, it's Gruul. I figured it was Boros. Yeah, I did, too, because of the red. Okay. Yep, that's pretty good. Okay. Sure. Ha! Do it. Suit him up. Yeah, might as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, like... He's already played a mugging. We can't bank him having removal in hand. This is going to hurt him a lot. And if he has removal for this, there's a good chance he doesn't have removal for Foundry Champion. Yeah. So. Plus, this ends the, the game in two more turns if he doesn't have an answer. So. <laughs> Please have something that deals... Oh, destroy the enchantment. Sure, that's fine. Damn that dog. No yep. swing. No swing. Huh. Can he jump it at you? Anything that gives you red and flying? Yeah, just I don't think so. Strike. I think you're good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We still smash in regardless. Oh, my God. Yep. Pretty awesome. I swear. If I walk out there, she'll stop, too. Get that out there. All right, I'll be right back. I want to make this shit stop. Okay. Oh, now I see why that card's good. Don't think well. I'd rather play the Griffin, so I'm just gonna attack for three. And play the Griffin. Because between these two and actually all three, he's just dead. if I attack. <laughs> I'm glad he's showing you more cards. Yeah. More bad cards. So I'm just going to attack. Yeah. Battalion kills guild mage just be an asshole. <laughs> uh, sure. Like I wait till I put that trigger on the stack to concede game. Like okay. So we were on the draw and we were still beat down, but bring in smite though. Yeah, especially against cruel. Maybe take out the enchantment because he has naturalized main deck. Hmm. No, I feel like that's fine. I cut like night watch. Something that costs a lot that doesn't impact the board a whole lot. Because he'll just have bigger guys. Yep. Mm. I was thinking like this. About, I mean, it, it makes your battalion and triggers harder, but if it's, yeah, it's, it's fine. Mm. It could be right, though. We did see a lot of like two twos and like the two three and stuff from him, so that's true. Not the greatest card against him. Uh, 
thought you could pull a gargoyle, since he has the naturalized. No, I don't mind that so much. Ah, I guess you could be right here. I don't know. I just I like getting a little bit of value out of it. The only problem is, like, he plays guys that are a lot bigger than two twos. They don't fly. Yeah. So. I see your point. Like on turn, I mean, like our two twos on turn two are amazing, but on you know two twos on turn five are yeah, pretty underwhelming. Yeah. This hand, I think, is a keep. Or on the draw, absolutely keep. <clears throat> you have removal, you have two playable creatures already. It was a good hand. Yeah. Which do we play first? Oh, uh, the Paladin, I think, right? Yeah. Because he, he, he does more. Yeah, and the first strike. Yeah, like he just, yeah. Plus, if he's got his muggings, we want the Paladin to die, not the... <laughs> right. So we just go all pack rat with this, right? And just start. I don't think so. Hmm. The other question is, do we kill his ramp? I think you have to. I you don't want to play in a four drop. I know it's awkward, but uh I would kill that. Like I would mug the shit out of that right now. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Cause he may have kept his hand based on having that, so I agree. Like, if he didn't have a gate in play, maybe we let it slide. We probably let it slide, but too risky. Yeah. If he does nothing here, it was a good play. He does something. Ooh. That's fine. Sure. More ramp. Okay. So, <clears throat> now he would be able to, you know, play something else. So, I'm okay with that. I'm going to play my three drop. Amateur? Oh, yeah, sure. For sure. And then play two spells next turn. Depending on what he plays. I might hold back the guild mage. Slaughter sure. Realized... <laughs> Record the wrong screen, I think. <laughs> Scrub. 3 2. Yeah, he, 3 2. You got that all day, bro. Got that all day. Hmm. Okay. Don't attack into that. Attack? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so. You can aerial maneuver. Okay, sure. <clears throat> Because the thing is, like, if we attack in here and we can get his guy, we can still progress our board by playing another creature. So that's absolutely fine at this point. More than likely, he just takes two, which is even better. Um, All right. I would play the Paladin and the Bomber Core. I agree. Completely. I don't want to put this guy out there yet. Draw that removal. <laughs> the next turn we start doing cool stuff. So deck building is uh, is the help screen. Go. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, okay. Land control. Mm. Rebel Hulk. Yeah, gross. It's pretty sick. Gross. Let's do. Well, we got the Avenger. Hmm. Two. So I can attack with this. Um, <clears throat> you have. Is this guy's a five-five? Oh, just try to. What? Two, wait. You can't two. attack that. No, you're right. Play your angel. What about this? No, then I have to attack with all three. Dang it. Yep. It's just angel. Play, you play your angel this turn. And then pass. 
the next turn what we can do is you can attack with the paladin your angel and if he blocks your paladin you can pump it up aerial maneuver assuming he doesn't play a land gross gross we have the game here huh well, that's pretty good <laughs> that's interesting Can we kill him? That is pretty good. We can do seven. Right now, no. Ten. You cannot kill him now. Kill um, this. And then... Huh. How do I want uh, to... Like, you don't kill him this turn, but you might be able to get him next turn. Right. Well, no, we can't do twenty. I don't think this is interesting because uh, you can attack with everything, mm -hmm. and you can put the helix on one of his creatures, like one of his big creatures. You can put the bomber core on a different creature. And how he blocks, you get aerial maneuver. Ugh, it gets sketchy. Okay, okay, uh, hold on, hold on. So, this becomes. Okay, so it's act of treason. Can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. Right. This gets through. So right, he won't, yeah, he, won't block, he won't block that. So he's taking six, seven, eight, nine, for sure. Probably ten. Well, he's taking twelve for sure. Because your angel can lightning helix him, plus it's flying. Well, I was thinking killing this. What, Slaughterhorn? Yeah. Uh, hold on, with, I don't think you need the, to. You can also... Um, angel. Hold on. Before combat, aerial maneuver your Warmind infantry. That's four, five, that's five damage right there in the air. If you do it before blocks. You know, like before it declares blocks, because it gives it flying. Uh, huh. Seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven. I think all we can do is seventeen, the most. So you shouldn't try to kill him now. Correct. So I'm thinking. Attack with your angel. Just put him at seventeen. Play out your guild mage. Right. Mm. Can I bait anything with this? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> can um, I play this in pump. <laughs> Two. Yeah, I can play this in pump. Once. Sure. Or we get aerial maneuver. But like, I would, I would just play that attack with your angel. Just put him at 17 and kill him next turn. Because the next turn you can either pump with Guild Mage or pump with your pal, like pump the pal if he doesn't block that. Yeah, I want to play this in pump. And, you know, to get in an extra point. Sure. And just hope he doesn't kill you here. Yep. <laughs> no kill, no kill, no kill. <laughs> Alright. Act of treason. Uh oh. Ha! <laughs> That's really bad. I think we can survive, though. Alright. Six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know if you can win next turn now, because his angel's probably gonna—it's gonna get—he's gonna gain three. And he's gonna kill something on our board. 
probably our guild mage. <laughs> killed the wrong one. Oh, he killed the paladin. Okay. Yeah, I think this is good. I think we just won. Yeah. I think that we active trees in this, killing this, and win the game. <clears throat> um, he's tapped out. Do you win? Is that enough? Because you can't active treason and pomp with the guild mage. No, but I can aerial for, uh, maneuver for this. On the infantry? Yeah. Okay, so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah. Hold on, so, <clears throat> but if you act, if you take the predator, he can, he can double block to kill it with his two guys. He might have to, right? So we should, with the angel, just lightning helix him. But if he plays a land, we lose if we don't kill him. No, nope, we don't. We gain three life. That's right. Keep forgetting that. You know, that's one card. That's what I would do. Like active treason, his six five. Yeah, Make him chump both his guys to kill it. Sure like to that. trade all three, so all three will die. Make sure that the math is right. Because then you can bomber core on him. Um, he takes one from bomber core, three from the angel. It's down to fifteen. One more from bomber core, fourteen. Four from infantry. 10, Angel is 3, 7. It doesn't kill him. Um, he goes like 5. But he'll only have Rubble Hulk left. And we'll gain some life. If he has like any pumps about. Well, I, I understand, but like we're at 6. Like we don't have a choice, you know? What if we act of treason? Well, we are 3 for 1 him. Block. Yeah, that seems good. And like he has back one card. I mean, there's no reason to play it unless it's for a you know a win at this point. So right, could we just leave back the bomber corpse to jump? I mean, yeah, if you're if you're that worried about it, that'd be fine. I mean, he doesn't have to double block, does he? Well, if he doesn't, then he dies. Really? Right. Hold Six, on. Seven, eight, nine. Like, let's say we swing all. You know, yeah, this. Predator, like, Predator deals six, Angel deals six, he'd be at seven, Infantry deals four, be at three, Bomber Core, Guild Mage. So yeah, it's lethal, like he has to. Right? <laughs> Alright. Then I guess you can just Helix this Slaughter Horn. To clear it out of the way. And do we we aerial maneuver here? See so what aerial maneuver before? Okay, hold on. Yeah, so you put it on the infantry. That's gonna be five right there. Five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, fifteen. So he'll go to four and trade everything for Predator. So we're area, uh, we're using Angel on what? His Slaughterhorn? Or um, do it on the Slaughterhorn. Do it. But then he'll have these both. Oh, yeah. Or yeah, can, that's bad. That's bad. Maybe keep both of those and not block with... Um, like, take one of these and chump, I don't know, this. Okay, so... Yeah. I think... Five, six, seven. We'll go to nine. Okay, we're going to swing all and just kill one of his dudes, I think. What, do we kill him in? Because if he gets the Predator back, we just lose. 
Just helix him. Okay, sure. Make him three for one himself. Boop. Boop. All right, you figure out the math, because I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you figure out a way to lose. I think this is the best. Maybe taking 10, 12, then he, well, sure. Yeah, like he has to. Okay, so he goes to one. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's oh. Nice. <laughs> awkward. Yep. All right. Okay. Game three. Just concede. <laughs> yep. Wow. He figured that out a lot quicker than us. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do we have? Uh, nope. Nope. Mm, no. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> we just want to be on the play for once. Do we want Smite if we're on the play? Oh, we had Smite already in. Yeah, Smite's already in. That's what I mean. Oh, I think so. We, in case something bad happens, we still need that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Alright, I think we keep... Yeah. Um... It's, yeah, it's fine. I'm not super excited about it, but it's fine. Like, this is that matchup we really need a two drop. <laughs> but he hasn't really showed us a way to stop flyers, has he? Like Angel did work. Oh, okay. oh there we go. Nice. I like it a lot better now. Yeah. Don't you two drop. Don't you. Oh. So, huh? do we attack into that? Yeah, we attack oh, into that. Yeah, battle that. Battle that shit all day, er, day. We would love to make that trade. Oh, he did it? Wow. Hell yeah. I feel like it's bad for him because like, his deck needs to really ramp up, you know? Yeah. Okay, play your angel this turn. Battle him too. Man, that act of treason of his was really good. This way, if we draw the um, <clears throat> the three drop hasty guy, since you have three of them. Did not. Oh, you drew that instead. That's pretty good. Um, battle him. Send him in. If he wants to use the pump spell or removal spell to kill an infantry, that is okay by me. Mm -hmm. So this guy, right? Because that would be more damage. Um, this is where it's tough. I feel like the assault griffin's probably the correct play because, like, evasion. Like he's gonna play a five drop next turn, and it's probably not going to fly. Yeah, true. Plus, it's more mana efficient to play a four drop here. Like next turn, you can go infantry and mugging if we need to, or act of treason mugging. You know, we just have yeah. one more option. Like next turn, we might be. Able to be like next uh, turn, if he doesn't do, if he doesn't do anything to our board state, we fuck his shit up next turn. Yeah, we smack him with that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Win, right? Do we win? Is it lethal? There's six. There's eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, uh, seven, yeah, eight. Yeah. Gg. GG, tell him GG. Boop. I can't, we'll take that one. And we'll give it first strike. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, he's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> that card is... That's not good. <sighs> nice I nice haste. Right, play on your two drop. <laughs> 
worst mad sc- madcap skills ever. What is up with these awful hands? This is fine though. We're on the draw. We keep it on the draw. Really? We have a play. Yeah, this absolutely. Doesn't do anything. It has a play. It has a play. We're on the draw. We have a two drop. Any land gets us a three drop. I guarantee your six will not be better. That I, that I can assure you. All right. Start out with a blue. Yeah, all right, fine. Got the land. Ooh, who's black? Going on a Demir? Ooh, I think that card's pretty good. Hmm. This guy's already at a disadvantage, though, for playing Demir. <laughs> ha! Again? Ha! Yeah. <laughs> Every time it deals combat damage, just keeps tapping, the creature right? won't untap. Every time that thing does combat damage, your creature won't untap. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah. So you're going to play this, then on his turn he's going to attack you, and then he's going to lock down the infantry. Yeah. That's pretty good. It's, <laughs> it's really good. I wish we could, uh... Do something about it, yeah. Draw that one card. Just got to draw mugging. Mugging, that's what it is. Hmm. Goblin Piker, we'll take it. Well, I'm going to go ahead and attack for one. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Um, here, bear with me here. I would play your Scorch Walker. I was going to. Okay. Why bear with you? Okay. Well, a lot of people just like to save it for the Blood Rush. Oh, no. But he'll have to lock that down, and then you can start attacking with more stuff. And if we draw a land, we can play infantry and a skin brand goblin. I was going to play Nightwatch if drew land. Gains hexproof. It's a 3 4. Okay, sure. Yeah, that thing is doing work. I <laughs> got gotcha you for one, whatever. So taps our five one. So I figured that's fine. That's that is what I expected. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, play your night watch. That's fine. We can save the goblins. We might want to use them. We might want to blood rush them. Plus, these guys will be vigilant. Which might matter since he has a hands of binding. Yeah. Question is make more four fours. Alright. We do we cast overrun next turn? Hmm. I mean that's twelve damage, yeah. I don't think so. I don't think we do yet. We, now once we get the infantry and the goblin out there. Yeah, which is what we're playing next turn. Do they have discard? There's a little bit, sure, but I wouldn't worry about him having it in his hand. Um, I think he may have Aetherize, the one blue and three bounce all attacking creatures. Hmm. So I would not alpha strike him here, but you could definitely um, I would attack with the infantry and the two knights. And then when he blocks? If he blocks a knight, you can blood rush a goblin. Yeah, we're two for one. 
Well, you're using one of your knight tokens. It's not True. so. It's a it's a one point five for one, but it clears more of his board. We we have, we like maintain the board presence. So. Can we do this? Yeah, like we attack with. I mean, we need to attack with three so we get the battalion trigger. You know, assuming yeah. he's going to eat at night so we can deal more damage. Because like even if he blocks the knight and we go to blood rush and he has a trick, we're still going to push six damage. Yeah, just blood rush the goblin at it. That's what I would do. Oh, that, that was fine. And then just play the infantry out. I'm gonna hold the land. <sighs> that's that's fine. Now let's just draw your pre-release card and win the game. Yeah. I mean, if he does nothing, I doubt he's going to do nothing, but if he does nothing, actually, I think we don't alpha strike. Like, we keep back the knight. In case he has the Aether Eyes, yeah, we get blown out. Yeah, that'd be awful. But good call on that. I got blown out on that on the pre-release. He has to attack here to... Yeah, you know, to keep sight from he has to attack. I mean, really, there's no reason not to for him, because if he doesn't attack like, and uses him as his chump blocker, it still effectively negates one creature, so... Yep. Man, that mugging would be sure good right now. <laughs> so or any flyer. <laughs> right, yeah, draw the 2-2 two -two fly haster. Keymaster Rogue is unblockable. Bounce. <laughs> okay. Did he not read it? Did he think it bounced one of yours? I guess. He's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> he would have lost his cipher target. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think we uh, we win next turn. We'll take it. <laughs> you had acted treason, so you could have... You could have taken his spirit anyway, attacked him with it, and locked down his own creature for a turn. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. So since he's Demir, can we side in pit fight? Um, it's still two for one, isn't it? I like I don't. Well, I mean, if he doesn't pump that thing, it doesn't because it's just a one-two. It's like if he's tapped out. Oh, I just think he got a super lucky draw. I fucking had a turn to and like the best thing you can do with it um do we have a sideboard <laughs> uh you you can bring in a gargoyle okay. you can bring in a gargoyle against him another flyer but i don't even know if that's good enough oh he only showed us two cards three cards he showed us the a one two flyer that you can pump, he showed us hands of binding, the cipher card, and he showed us that three four that he can give hex proof to. Like none of those cards are awesome. <laughs> I, I feel just, like I feel just... like the vigilance would be better than the Night's Watch right here. I mean the knights are vigilant too though. Oh that's right. Like uh, then yeah, I got nothing. I would just roll with it. Okay. Oh, I guess keep. Uh, oh, I can't see it. It doesn't do anything though. He molded Ooh. six. If he went to six, I'd probably. That's tough. I'd probably keep it though. If it were me, I'd keep. Because like you have your man, and man is the most important thing. Yeah, but it doesn't do anything. I agree, but if you draw stuff that does stuff, put it this way, his deck's not super fast based on what we saw. Like, we saw one, two drop, and we saw a five drop. Um, you have a play on four. I'm, I'm really bad at mulliganing. I've yeah. always been bad, because I, I'm with you, I'm just like, I have my lands, and that's really freaking important to me, because I get lands screwed all the time. Well, the thing is, like, you have a play on four. It's not a great, like, Swordswalker on turn four isn't the best thing ever, but, like, it's a play. Like, it's something. So I 
I would keep this. Plus, you're up a game. It, it's always, oh, he molded the five? Yeah, keep this shit. Oh, my God, keep it. I only mold the five. Shit. Jesus. Interesting. Yeah, that's bad. He can have that what? thing all day. No, you, you don't decide until later. So I capped a mini mold. I knew we were drawing land, by the way. Because we're on moto and you keep a four land hand. That's fine. Draw a five. That's fine. Doesn't matter. As long as you draw two, drop this next draw. Then it'll be, then it'll be good. Yeah, that would be ideal because it doesn't make it. Especially if it's a bomber core, a one, two. Or Just, a three, yeah. one. That's fine too, because we can race yeah. that shit. Uh, we can, we can put this on it and make it a six, one. Mm, we'll see about that. Might be more important to make sure that thing doesn't get removed yet. I think it'd be removed this turn. Eh, maybe not. Let's see. Flying life blink. Gift mm. of Orzava? Oh, gross. Gross. So okay, well, now we can point. definitely cap it now. Yeah, we have to. Like Now we're in a racing situation. And we have to stay alive until we can play Foundry Champion and just kill this guy. So he's really only doing four turns. So he's on four turns. I mean, it's a four point live swing, but we're only taking two a turn, so. Right, right. No play. Well, that's pretty good for us then. We can play that guy. Oh, he's he's getting played. I feel like there's a trick here. Bring it. Oh, sure, sure. That's fine. <laughs> he kills our guy and makes it a three-three. Sure. That is absolutely fine. Because oh. now we can play our angel and block his guy. <laughs> yeah. And. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, this is this is why Dermir is bad. <laughs> Line of skin real key. Well, like that's what is this? So okay. Each player. At the beginning of his upkeep, each player reveal. Holy shit! Who's like <laughs> it was So each player does this, huh? Yeah, on his upkeep, that's each player does really that. Really good for us. <laughs> well, he has a life linker, so it's better for him. Yeah, but. Still. <laughs> oh, and his denizen gets intimidate. Son of a bitch. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well. Uh, wait. Damn, it's black. I was like, there's a white. Oh, yeah, no, we can't stop that thing. It's okay, though. So be it. Glad we just drew that. <laughs> huh. So. Pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to play that, right? Yeah, I play Night Watch Pass. No attack. Why would you attack? His dude flies. Yeah, fine. Oh, like, that flies? Oh, shit. He's got a 4 4 flyer. I was like, what are you attacking into? Ooh. I didn't realize he was flying. Wow. So you only attack if you're going to. Blood Rush or Scorch Walker. Yeah. Yuck. Now I'm two for one. That seems wrong. But this is better because now we can fucking Foundry Champion next turn and blow his ass up. We got a Guild Mage. He wow. got. Ha! Oh, ho, ho. I see what his deck does now. <laughs> yeah. He fucking plays Flyers and <laughs> Cyphers, shit like that. Yeah, but guess what? We're about to kill this and. No, I I get it. I'm just saying it's. And he played that. Like, luckily he doesn't have a land, so you can't cast that card. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is really good. And he has no counter magic. Okay, so yeah, Foundry Champion, blow up his four four. Attack with everything, and then Lightning Helix his two two with the Life Link and. Flying, he could keep his fucking one too. Yeah. You with me? Yeah. Seemed like the plan. And then we should just win next turn. Swing on. Okay. 
doing this. The two two flying, yeah, that thing. Yep. Blow that up. Yeah. He does have that cipher card in his hand, so like if he does draw a land, he can cast that, drop us to seven, attack us for one, cipher it, drop us to four, and then we win. So. Yay. <laughs> Yeah. Or he just scoops. All right, well, that was a lot easier than the first round. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's cool, but... Oh, Demir definitely has a lot of... Like, the, the cypher mechanic, I, I actually like it a lot. I just think, overall, like, the power level is just not up to par. Yeah. Right, no, I don't, I'm okay with it, but, like, the payout's not even better, you know? Ooh, this could be really good. Yeah, it's fine. It's it's a keep anyway, right? Yeah, we have a play. Yeah, we have we have a two drop. We're good. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's definitely keep, but I'm just saying how great it can be. Oh, we should Hellraiser Goblin. Play this turn to don't draw land. You know. If you don't draw any just madcap skills, it. Yeah, we got there. Hmm. Okay. That's okay. Yours is better. Yep. So, is this an attack two? Right. I still think you're going with both, right? You offer that trade up? Do we? I think so. In the Boros Mirror, you can offer your trading two drops. His creature is probably better than yours overall. Like, creature can't block battalion versus... I guess they're both pretty good. But you maintain board presence. Hmm. Or don't. I mean, you can just... Okay, just play out the Legion attack for two. The next turn, put the Madcap skills on the Skyjack and attack that way. That way he has to double block it to kill it. You know what I mean? I get that's your plan. Yeah, I don't know what my plan is, to be perfectly honest. But play the Legionnaire. Yeah. You don't need to, you know, he don't need to slow all that. That's definitely getting played right now. I yeah, would probably I would... attack both. I would probably attack both. Because, like, if you keep his board clear, like, that's good for you. But I'm losing a creature out of it. So is he. You're both losing a two-drop, but you push two damage, and you still have a creature in play. True. Like, Fair you're still true. ahead. Fair you're still ahead in that race. Fair. That's why I would do it. Yeah. Like, the only way I would not do it is if you plan to madcap skills the 3-1 next turn. <laughs> Get for four. Ha! Sick. Sick. All right, well, if I knew you were going to draw that, then we would not have attacked, so we had Battalion and Flying. Yeah. Yeah, see, I don't know. I feel like we just take blows back and forth, but... Who knows? I was like, if he plays a fucking Legionnaire, I'd be like, god damn it. <laughs> so, hang on here. Do we act of treason? Four? Five, six, seven, eight? You act of treason for... No, I would I would not do that now. Um, I think this turn I just... Scorchwalker? I think, yeah. Uh, Five, six, seven... Oh, do that nine. this turn? You could definitely do that this you could you could definitely score Twalker him now. You get him for nine. He goes to five. And then the next turn active trees his three. untapped guy, yeah. That's what I would do. Like his one white mana can't do anything to stop you. Yeah, because this isn't really doing anything. Yep. 
putting in hat five seems very good. Because I doubt he gets in for coming here, but you never know. <laughs> That's not going to do it. And at least two other creatures attack. No, okay. it, it's it's good. It's like the best common Boros two drop. All right. So okay. is it active treason or is it? I would show him the active treason and not the madcap skills. Yeah, I agree. And the flyer. Right. Yeah, that's just lethal. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Kill something, but eh. yeah, like if he has a trick, okay. Like if he has a trick, then like you can just mad madcap skills next turn and yeah. end it. Well, if he has a trick, then that's really bad. No, right. it's still only has one flyer. So when you play madcap skills it's next turn, it's good that um, we won the die roll. <laughs> True. All right, so. Uh, so we're on the draw, so Smite definitely comes in. Yeah. A Furious Resistance, maybe even two. Mm, I don't know if I don't think blocking we. Blocking creature. Need... I mean, we're blocking. No, all I, the time, I get right? it. I don't think we need that to. Pit fight? No. Um... No, I don't think anything else comes in, honestly. I would just focus on what to take out. What do we not like? Maybe we pull like one bomber core. Hmm. I feel like he could have a lot of one ones, but one ones. I doubt he has X ones. One. X ones. I still doubt that too. A lot of X twos. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I guess he showed us one X one. The the uncommon guy, battalion creature camp blar. Really? Know. Are we? going to be that beat down? I mean, we're going to no, be trading. On, no, on the draw, no. So, like, I think taking Bomber... I say take Bomber Core out. Like, that's, that's how I think you should do it. And maybe even have a 4-4. Four, four. Mm. No? No, I don't think we need that. I don't think that does enough. Just got to draw better. Yeah, I mean, that was an awkward draw game for you. Like, you, you know, won the game on three lands, so... Yeah, true. I'm saying draw better than him. But. Yeah, no, I mean, that's really a big part of it. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm good with this. You? Yep. Oh, yeah? Because you get... Holy crap, this hand. You get... Um, huh. Better rare chances. He mold nice... Sucking nerd. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree though. Like in the pre-release, I had the uh, the Reckoner, the three three for three. That guy's retarded, and I had that angel, that fireman angel. Or yeah, I had the Reckoner, the Reckoner as well. He was really good. That dude's ridiculous. He's like a. I looked him up like a week ago. He's like a twelve dollar card. What does he do again? I don't remember. Whenever damage is dealt to him, he may deal that damage to another target as, as well. So yeah. he still takes the damage, but then he also dishes it back. We oh, mulls the five. Sick. Well, that is not good. Sick. That's not good for him. So, classic, which one do you play? I go with the Paladin. It's still, yeah, it's still the Paladin. That's Paladin every time, though. Like, the Paladin's just better, really. Still Paladin, yeah. Oh, yeah, still Paladin. But he he mulled the five. The odds of him having a removal spell go down even more, like... It's most likely he kept a hand with lands in it. Wow, he passes. That's pretty good. Sorry, bro. This hand's ridiculous. <laughs> this hand is stupid. <laughs> rage, rage, rage. Knowledge. Vigilance. I can still block. If he doesn't draw a land here, he just scoops. Might as well. I yep. <laughs> feel, like, feel like it gets really bad. All right, well, that was even easier than the first two rounds. Just getting easier and easier. 
it still gets bad because you know we get them for like yeah i think we just play that actually but yeah what no you play the fucking i think you play the guild mage leave yeah. up no nah, we play infantry yeah definitely infantry and the next one we go to madcap skills for the win with shielded passage back up, so had a burn spell. <laughs> didn't even matter. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sick. <laughs> GG's. Don't think it would have mattered much. Close game. <laughs> Which one is higher than yours? Uh oh. He's not been playing scrubs, huh? Mm, yeah, I like this hand on the draw. Have all the lands you need. I really like Paladin. As a turn two play. Oh, any okay. mulligans. Definitely like him mulliganing in the finals. All right. Go to five. Go to five. Go to five. You know go you want to go to five. Go to five. Oh. You know you want to go to five. Oh. And Boros. Guildgate is pretty strong. Sick. That's now pretty strong too. Now you're here. <laughs> Fucking awesome. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I like that he doesn't have a play. Yep. <laughs> when he passed her, you should have just said GG. <laughs> no play, GG. That's it. Oh, he probably doesn't wow. have a play this turn. Be guilty. Awkward. Awkward. Tell him sick rip. <laughs> it's good. So, yeah, just pump and, uh, see what he plays here. Sure. Hit by all the Ooh, getting in there. He's going in? Going in? He's already on the back, but what is this nigger doing? So, pump twice. Um, yeah, I would, I would go and pump him twice. <laughs> Great fuck this nigger. What is he thinking? <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna get you. She's like, alright, I guess we'll just get you for eight. You're at eight. Your turn. <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking there. Wow, dude. He's like, oh, fuck, I forgot you could pump that thing. Fuck. <laughs> He's like, oh, god damn it. That's why this car is good. <laughs> oh, Paladin's sick. Hell, he's really, really sick. I, I have one yet either. Out of all the, I did two events, so I have two sealed pools. Yeah. And all the packs I've opened, zero True Fire Paladins. Mrs. Landrop doesn't play anything. Yep, I guess go just go on both. Do we act? No. Because it's not. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Oh, it is, oh, it is lethal. Yeah, access tree. Yep, you have to. Absolutely. But if he has removal, it doesn't not matter. Lethal. You still do it. Because the thing is, you act a trees, and if he has removal, you just shielded passage and save your guy. True. So like, you might not kill him, but it's okay. Mugging up next, sick. Yeah, you had it. No way if you played anything, you could just mug it and which taps it. Man. You, or can't block it, so it does, yeah. Sick, sick. deck. <laughs> sick deck. We saw. So, is it he's Boros Splash Green? Is that what it is? Or is it he's Gruel? Don't know. And these, Don't, these, know. His... Don't know. <laughs> Don't know. Don't know. Dude, only played one creature. I have no idea what he's right. doing. Bringing the smite. <laughs> Seems safe, right? Casey's Gruel taking out Righteous Charge. I don't know. Uh, Bomber. Bomber. <laughs> he didn't show us enough, so like, I don't even know how to board. <laughs> Awkward. He showed us zero removal. He showed us like zero cards. He showed one us one creature. Card. Yeah, just one creature and three lands. Take out a Bomber, Corey. That's fine. Whatever. I assume we're going to be on the draw again, so... What if... 
His mole should have been another mole, I think. Although, I guess I don't know what he was looking at, but. He didn't have. Alright. Oh, that's key. That's key. Yeah, it's got a two drop. You got a two drop? You've got combat tricks to keep him alive. Could use a land, but. Yeah, he's alright. Okay with drawing lands here. Basically, anytime you have this kind of hand, you just want to survive to turn six and play Foundry Champion. Because that's when you'll steal the game. He missed his two drop. That's really good. Kill it. Kill it. Right, please mug it. <laughs> please mug. Please mug the goblin piker. Dude. Oh. Oh, that's what your deck has. Well, I guess smites is pretty good for that, right? <laughs> Since it won't deal damage. Yep, not bad. <laughs> Guess we'll uh, pass. Definitely pass here. Not that we have a play anyway. Yeah. This card's sick. So that's how you made it to the finals. <laughs> yeah, this card is that good. Right, figured that out. Good to know. Where's ours? Oh, we got the flyer. <laughs> yeah, you got the fire. I mean, his is better. Like, that guy's better, I think. Probably, because of the first strike, and, I don't know. Yeah, like, it's a three drop. I can see them being comparable. Oh. Rose Kieran, okay, cool. That's a good card. Not, I'm not super scared of it, so that's fine. Yeah, bring that Reckoner in. Bring him in, bring him in. Yes. Oh, we got that smite plan. Well, I guess I'll give him first strike. Alright. Oh, first strike? <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to give him first strike because then he'll take two damage. Alright, if I don't give him first strike, I can kill this guy and deal him two more. He's like, response. Mugging. <laughs> That's a sorcery. It wouldn't matter anyway. That shit's already blocked. I know. <laughs> Smite oh. will already kill it, no matter what. Oh. It's like, yeah, bro. G, 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 G. <laughs> uh, combat for night. Yeah, combat. Get in there. Gives a double strike. We take one. <laughs> what? Or two. We take the two there. <laughs> oh, yeah, if he wants to bring that in, that's fine. Yeah. I would love for him to invest his mana into that and not do anything else. It would be ideal. Ooh. Send it all now. Cool. Let's see, card. But it's a 2-2. Two, two. Alright, smash them both. Going in hot. Going in so hot. So, playing this, right? Playing what? This. I don't know what this is. I'm li I lag behind you, so I don't oh, know what you're pointing at. Bad. You gotta have to say names. Infantry? Infantry? Yeah. Uh, you have five lands, so it leaves it. So, uh, hmm. It what do we think he's gonna do on his turn? I don't know. <laughs> but, I mean... Infantry is fine. I feel like having this up with sure. this in play... Sure. And it's potentially more damage. The cool part is... Everything we draw next turn is relevant. Like, if we draw a land, we have a pre-release card. Yeah. If we draw any, another spell, then we just have a spell, so... I like that every, every single draw spell? is live. 
Unless it's a Boros Guild gate. That's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> that would suck. Yeah, that's that's one way to get them. Please, this be Cinder Elemental. Please. Oh. Not Foundry Champion. Bleh. Bleh. Alright, hold on. And this gonna deal two damage. Ooh. Who's going for Assault Griffin? We yeah. can aerial maneuver and save it. Ooh, do it, do it, do it. Boop. Because then if we draw a land, we can kill his Foundry Champion. Yeah. With four creatures in play. Yeah. I mean, eventually he gets, he gets our Cinder... Oh man. Well. <laughs> That's pretty good, too, though. Um, let's see, five... Six, seven, eight, nine. So, so, yeah, if you use it and smash him. Really? It's lethal if he doesn't. He'll, he'll have to jump somewhere. Two, four, six. Seven, he can seven, only seven. kill the, uh, unless he doubles up, he can kill the, the goblin piker. Yeah, use it. Overrun. Okay. Like he has to uh, either trade his Foundry Champion for a 4-3 or just chump the Cinder Elemental. Yeah, that seems really good. He's taking 5 in the air regardless, so... I'm guessing he's just going to chump here and take 9. Take 9. That's wonderful. <laughs> and we can just kill him with Foundry Champion. <laughs> right. That's just like, that is okay with me. Yeah. See... I knew it'd be good to leave that up. <laughs> Just felt right. Wasn't expecting Foundry Champion, or thinking about that, I should say. Mm, I had a feeling it's coming. Oh, he is in the tank about this. <laughs> it's like, motherfucker. He's like, I play all these rares, and it's just not good enough. That's really good for us. He goes to four. We don't lose any creatures. We got to trade our righteous, whatever it is, for a Cinder Elemental, which is good because Cinder Elemental is a sick card. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was a good turn. I like that. And he has to be really careful with attacks now, being a four. I don't think he can attack. And all we need to do is push zero damage. <laughs> uh, who knows? Let's just draw Act of Treason. No, let's draw a thing. Oh, that would work too. But land would be nice. Just pass here. Attacks. Like the nope, no attacks. Okay. Pass this turn. Interesting. So I'm going to play this and attack with these three. Oh, he drew the hint? Yeah. Uh, attack with everything. That's two. But why? Get that battalion, battalion trigger. That. Why not? He has three cards in his hand. What do you think he's going to do? He's going to activate his key rune. Okay, okay so he's going to put that on what? The goblin? Sure. Then he puts his champion on the infantry and he takes lethal damage. So what? You want to make him get rid of that champion. Like, there's no reason. Like, if you just attack with the infantry, he'll just, he'll just activate the cure and chump that. You get what I'm saying? Then why won't he just activate key rune, chump here, and eat a goblin? That's fine too, I guess. We're trading goblins. Okay. Like, we want to keep his board as clear as possible because he's already that low. Like, we want it. This is where we're the beat down. Like, we just smash, smash, smash until he loses. I mean, hopefully he just doesn't have a removal spell and we just win, so. Yeah. Even if not, if we ever draw a land, we'll probably just Right, win. right, yeah. I mean, even if not, next time we just play Gargoyle. Like, we're still at 20, so. <laughs> It's not like we're hurting. Not sure what his 
plan is. Maybe he's got something for this. Maybe blocks here. My whole thing is with this attack, he has to have a removal spell or he just loses. There's the key organ activation. Sure. Okay. Eat this. See how you can eat that. Ah. Aerial maneuver that guy gives it flying. Does he have something else, or do we just win? <laughs> sure. Okay, does he have... So we win. Yep. He takes four. So you see how if we didn't go all in there, he, he wouldn't be dead right now. Yeah, I see that. And we would be two creatures now. Like, we would be out uh, our assault griffin and oh, the infantry, yeah. Oh, Boros for <laughs> There you That's go. You You're it. welcome. <laughs> do you know what it does? No, I do not.